Madam the President, Madam Chairperson, ladies and gentlemen, I don't have a speech to give. I, however, have questions to ask. And I would like to say that I was brought up as a Muslim, and in Islam, we are asked, when we witness something, to try and report it correctly. If we witness some injustice, to try and change it. We first try to change it by our hands. If we fail, we try to change it by our words. And if we fail, we try to change it by our hearts. And as a witness, as a former chief of the Human Rights Office of the United Nations Mission in Iraq, as a former advisor to the Special Representative of the Secretary General in Iraq, I witnessed the loss of justice. And my question to you, did you know that the United Nations has led the campaign to vilify the Ashrafis? What I'm saying is documented. In November 2011, the special representative of the Secretary General wrote to New York saying that the MEK is winning the battle of communication and we need to counter attack. We need to prepare a strategy to counter the communication strategy of the MEK. And so we did, we prepared a strategy to counterattack by fabricating reports and doctoring pictures and misleading the international community. Ladies and gentlemen, did you know that everything that happened in Ashraf and Camp Liberty is predictable and preventable? The blood that was spelt in liberty could have been prevented if the United Nations did not conspire against the Ashrafis. And I'm using quite strong language here. I'm using the word conspiracy. And what I'm saying is in my hand, is documented. In my hand, we have the operational plan for the eviction of the Ashrafis from their 36 years residency to send them to a prison or rather a detention center. Did you know that the special representative of Secretary General went in person to Ashraf and told the Ashrafis, we will guarantee your safety and security and dignity. Did you know that I then told the, Secretary General, the, 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 the United Nations Secretary in New York that Camp Liberty does not meet the standards, whether in security terms or humanitarian terms? Did you know Did you know that the Secretary of the Secretary General wrote me a letter asking me to keep quiet? It's documented. And I said in my reply that there are two options. Either take me to court or dispatch a commission of inquiry to the allegations I'm making. Did you know 
that I had no reply to my request. Did you know that I warned times and time again that there will be attacks against liberty? And again, I was told to be positive and to keep quiet. When the camp was uh, uh, prepared for the accommodation of the Ashrafis, there were two assessments of that camp. We only heard, the international community only heard about the humanitarian assessment of Camp Liberty. Nobody ever mentioned the report on security in Camp Liberty that was kept in the drawers in Baghdad, in the drawers of the, Secret, the Special Representative of Secretary General. Camp Liberty was then, in 2011, assessed as very vulnerable to attacks. And yet, the representative of the Secretary General went to the Ashrafis and told them, it's safe. Ladies and gentlemen, I would like to reiterate my warning. Because the operative plan is here. There will be further attacks. And this time, if any drop of blood is spelt again in Liberty or in Ashraf, you know very well who should be held accountable for that. From now on, anything that happens, whether in Ashraf or in Liberty, the responsibility is that of the United Nations. I thank you for your attention.